Hello friends and welcome back! Today we are going to be going over a different game I haven't talked about yet. Heroes of the Storm! A decently popular MOBA from Blizzard featuring heroes from all over the Blizzard universe. You know, the good ones like Diablo, Warcraft, Starcraft, and Overwatch. More specifically, we are going to be going over the Diablo hero, Tyrael, and why I consider him to be the master of escapes and arguably one of the better dive enablers. I would like to start off by saying that this is going to be more of a casual player's guide to Tyrael, as I am nowhere near what one would consider a professional player. The pro players would stop me for sure, but I did want to share the build that I rock for him, and maybe it can help you out in some regular matches. So I enjoy this build because it puts you right on the front line and also gives you some good dive ability to sneak those kills that are about to get away. It'll be more like a bruiser build on a tank. Tanks are in high demand currently, so you will have no problems finding a match quickly. So there are three things you should be focusing on when playing Tyrael. Soaking damage, saving teammates, and enabling dives. As the tank, you want to be the shield between the damage outputters and the enemy. Tyrael doesn't have the best HP compared to other tanks, but he does have enough for you to be soaking the majority of the damage. You can pull off some serious saves with him too. Aside from his shields and movement speed boost, which are pretty amazing, his other offensive attacks can be used to body block or turn the fight towards you instead of your squishy friend. As for dive enabling, Tyrael is a beast at diving in and then shielding or speed boosting his way out of there. You should either be diving in first to draw attacks towards you with your other teammates following, or shadowing other divers on your team, diving in at the same time as them, and then shielding and boosting them and yourself back out. I will be sure to show you some good examples. And just because your job is to soak and enable dives, doesn't mean you should be ignoring your other teamly duties like laning, camps, and objective. Teamwork is always the key to winning. So if we hop over here to masterleague.net, we can see that right here, this third one, except for the level 10 and 20, this is pretty much the exact build that we're going to be using. The Justice for All, Stalwart Angel, Swift Retribution, Holy Ground, and Horadric Reforging. So yeah, except for the ultimate sanctification, we'll be getting judgment. We're pretty much just going to use this one right here. And aside from the ulti, it's got a win rate of 78. So it's right up there on masterleague.net. So we can see that aside from 10 and 20, these are fairly common and highly used by other players. So your Q, Eldruins might throw your sword at a targeted area and do some damage, slow the enemy a little bit, and then you can teleport to your sword. Great for gaining some distance on the enemy, or even better for those narrow escapes when you're about to die. So your W, Righteousness Shield, puts a shield on yourself and on your nearby allied heroes. This one is super helpful with those saves and those last minute escapes where the person is just a sliver away from death. Alright, so your E, Smite, throw your attack down, it does a bit of damage, but it also increases your movement speed for you and your allies. Even more so when you get Swift Retribution. And then for our Heroic, we're gonna go with Judgment. After three quarters of a second, you charge an enemy hero, dealing a bit of damage and stunning them for a little bit. And it also knocks back enemy heroes. This one is my favorite. I absolutely love Judgment. Love it even more when you get the level 20, Angel of Justice. Your first talent should no doubt be Justice for All, increasing your Righteousness Shield on allies. This talent will save you and your team many times throughout the match when applied and timed correctly. You can beef you and your team the moment before engaging, or you can save it for the teammate losing HP the quickest and shield them as they are getting out of range. Super handy when enemies are trying to pick off your slowed teammate. Next at level 4 is Stalwart Angel. While Eldruin's Might is active, you are granted armor. I feel this talent is necessary for your dive ability. You hurl your sword, dive in, and you got that little extra defensive edge. Getting armor when you initiate your attack lets you hold off on your shield for a better or more dire moment. Next up is level 7, Swift Retribution. Increased movement and attack speed. This talent is fire. Surprisingly, this saves teammates more often than the shield. Ranged heroes may still pick you off, but a few seconds of speed boost can make all the difference in that narrow escape. Excluding consecutive stuns, you can escape almost anything with your teleport shield speed boost combo. Although I feel it's best used defensively, don't be afraid to speed boost your assassin trying to pick off that fleeing enemy. It also works well when used offensively, giving those few extra hits to bring him down. Ulti time, level 10. Since we are going dive build, get judgment. 
I may get some hate on this because the more popular tank level 10 is Sanctification, but I find Judgment to be more of a game changer in team fights due to the ability of being able to stun and eliminate one of the enemy heroes. When their diver pops in and gets taken down 50% on health and then tries to peel away, it's fantastic to deny them that escape and finish them off. Taking out just one team member in a 5v5 can sway the battle or cause an enemy retreat. Exercise caution and time team attacks as this can put you too far in the back line if you're trying to chase that kill when you should be backing off. Also not the most practical, but this can be used defensively. You're seeing a homie getting chased down, you can launch your ulti on the pursuer, effectively turning the fight onto yourself, or at the least stunning the pursuer momentarily so your fleeing friend gets that extra few second lead. Next talent, level 13. Go with Holy Ground. Teleporting with Eldruin's might creates a blocking field. A friend of mine, who was way more familiar and experienced with the game, suggested I pick this trait a while ago when the pro started using it more. He could not have been more right! Good lord does this come in handy. It's great for camp stealing, helpful in chases and escapes, but my favorite is locking an enemy into a corner and then punishing them for their mistake. Lasting twice as long as you're stunned, it is quite enjoyable to watch the enemy frantically trying to escape when you have blocked their only path of getting away from you. Alright, two more. Level 16. This one, I like to go with Horadric Reforging. I rely heavily on Eldruin's Might for the teleport escape, so getting some help on the cooldown I feel benefits me the most. The other two choices are also solid options. Smite cooldown is one I have seen a lot of people go with, and that is super helpful too for getting your speed boost cooldown to help with the teammate escapes. Last one, level 20. Ulti level 2. I always reach for Angel of Justice. 30 second cooldown on your ulti makes you a force to be reckoned with. Going with another set of armor from Defense of the Angels is also a good choice. It's got great cooldown features for the shielding, but for me, I can't pass up that increased range and better cooldown rate. And there you have it, friends. That's my current build for Tyrael. A more bruiser approach to the Angel tank. Like mentioned previously, this will be for the more casual player who tanks for the team but still wants to be a hard hitter during the action phases. If you were to take this build into a more professional game, you would need to make sure that you and your teammates know each other's playstyles so you can better synergize attacks and planning. I have the most fun in this build with Quick Match where your team isn't pre-picked or pre-built, and players are looking to have fun playing instead of a more intense and serious match. Some people do get upset if you choose weird builds for your heroes, but as long as you contribute and do your part on the team, they can't really be upset if you are making it work. Just don't be toxic, play smart, and work as a team. Nothing worse than one dude trying to carry the whole team and failing to do so. With the meta always changing, it's fun to experiment if you know how your hero works. Let me know what you guys like to do with your build down below, or give me some advice on what you think I could do better. This can be a learning experience for both of us. POTS is less popular since its removal from esports, but it's still a great game when you get the hang of it. I was reluctant to play it first, but now I am thoroughly enjoying it. Hit subscribe for more content and hit that like button if you enjoyed. We'll see you next time guys. Thanks.